Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. This is going to be your love reading for July. We're going to see what the messages are here for you in regards to love, whether you're single or currently involved. Um, please be mindful, you guys, that these are general messages, so some of the messages may or may not resonate but just take what fits leave the rest okay we have some cards falling out palm tree representing stability security performance growth endurance and flexibility and girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabling and boundaries okay wow that's a way to start huh and we have a jumper here heart with a key hmm what the heck okay heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together and perfect hmm so this is obviously <laughs> some kind of relationship with you and someone who's very spiritually disordered if you want to call them a narcissist have at it um but it looks like there's a get together with someone they may not be in like it may not be like a full-blown you know narcissism on the spectrum so somebody could have narcissistic traits just be spiritually disordered or somebody could have um like just some selfish tendencies but it looks like somebody's showing up here very secure and stable okay um hmm and you could be meeting this person this is an energy so when i see empath and narcissist i mean this is like someone who these are like two people in a relationship who are codependent um there's someone who is a like extreme giver and someone who is an extreme taker this, that's how I feel this energy is playing out here I don't know if that's someone that you are currently involved with and it might feel like that energy um, someone gives more than they 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 receive okay let's take a look and see what these other messages are this is what a way to start here but somebody is definitely coming in here toward you um, very stable in a sense like a, I don't know like I don't know if it's like a s stability but very like enduring like doesn't want to like they're coming in with a key to your heart okay um, this person's coming in like with perfection tendencies um, maybe some of you live where there's palm trees or this person lives where there's palm trees okay that's let's just get into the rest of this reading and see what these messages are i want to see what's going on with this person i'm going to do a celtic cross because i just want to see what these energies are i hope you like the white table i thought it would be a lot easier maybe if you guys to see the cards okay pass okay pass 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 seven of swords okay somebody the runner there was a runner someone in the past was a runner okay ran away ran away somebody was like i don't know if there was cheating involved theft betrayal or just straight up running away someone from before uh, ran away from some kind of a, ran away from a relationship didn't want to progress further kind of like sitting here with a little duper's delight on the face like this is like oh i'm getting away with something um and this person feels like see those two swords in the background there this is kind of like somebody left something up to you left you to make the decision whether you were going to end something with them or not they didn't do it they just kind of snuck away or just they didn't want to be accountable for something okay so they left those two swords for you so that you know you figure it out you figure something out wow and there you are queen of swords it looks like you right now you've got your sword in your hand and you're like taking no prisoners here you're not taking any shit 
from anybody at this time. You're being truthful currently. Male or female energy, you're being truthful. You're... It's so funny, you guys, because I don't like I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. And whenever I look at the Queen of the Swords, you see the hand there like Bruce Lee would always do be like, bring it. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of your energy right now. You're like, OK, bring it. Who's next? Who's going to give me a hard time? Because I got my sword. It, you you kind of are in this like you're you're giving it. You're to anybody that comes into your life or anybody that comes forward, whatever they have going on, what everybody's going to bring, you're just like, you're not dealing with anything. You might have had somebody in the past that you were hoping they were going to make some kind of decision or something about a connection, about a partnership, and they may have just run away. Okay, two cards fell out. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like... <laughs> I feel like you're presently like, okay, bring it, you know, whatever your deal is, it like, if you're bringing me breadcrumbs, I'm out, you're gonna leave, okay, it, it's more like I challenge you, this is kind of like, if you're with somebody now, or you could be meeting someone going forward, you're just like, after what you've been through in the past, okay, where somebody might have just left you to figure stuff out on your own, you know, and snuck away, I feel like you're kind of like welcoming the challenge. It's almost like you, even if it's this person, if it's the same person that's coming in or is coming back around, I, I kind of get a sense, Virgo, that you're like, you want to tell somebody off here. Okay, the emperor's here. Okay, it could be like um, a parent, another parent. Maybe you have children with this person. It could be a father figure. Um, somebody who was just kind of... Virgo, you look like you are um, in nasty mood. <laughs> nasty mode. Because the emperor comes in pretty stable. The emperor shows up, and we did see that here. Stability, security. I feel like you're pissed off about something. You're angry about something that happened in the past. Okay? With someone. The emperor tends to just say and do whatever it is that they want to do. And they do whatever they want to, it's what's best for them. But they're pretty much reliable and stable. But something happened with this person. That's Aries energy. Something happened with this person in the past. And I feel like, I don't know if they ran away or they dipped out or ended a relationship. I feel like you want to fight. I feel like if somebody is coming back in, wanting to try to connect with you even if it's somebody new you're just like you're in fight mode i feel like you want to fight you want to okay we've got strength in reverse you, you just want to weaken somebody i don't know virgo are you being vengeful or vindictive or do you have like this streak in you that you are still a little salty about something and that's all right if you do some of you might not and this might not be your reading but i feel like you want the truth you don't want breadcrumbs you don't want someone who is going to abandon you because it's weak and you're just speaking your truth now especially in july i feel like you're you're not somebody might have showed up in the in the past who came across with that emperor energy and seemed as if like they were the real deal but then they they might have cheated or maybe they left or something happened okay let's see what's driving this reading what's driving you okay so i have the nine of swords yeah you have a lot of it uh, you have some anxiety and some stress right now maybe something ended and you're still trying to maybe trying to heal from that or just um this could have something to do they just told me that you had an issue with a parent growing up a parent might have abandoned you or left and there's some childhood trauma or work that needs to be done you have a lot of anxiety i feel like you are you might have an anxious attachment at this time to someone in particular and there's like this but at the same time there's i feel like there's not anger but like a little bit of salty like if somebody tries to come back in especially if this was some type of relationship where there was like an em um, empath narcissist type of paradigm um, 
somebody was charming you or used you you know there there might have been like you know one person was lacking boundaries another you know there was enabling perhaps done in the past that like i feel like you're taking a look at here i am going to get to this other person but i just want to see what's driving you right now is your anxieties and your fears i think that in some way you have a fear of getting close because you went through something in the past and um you're protecting yourself because the queen of swords queen of swords is usually a divorced person or someone who's single um and i feel like you're really protecting yourself maybe more so over protecting yourself and for some of you this person um if they weren't cheating or anything like that um they were stable but they left in the past they walked away and I feel like you have some stuff within you that, you know, maybe you just have to heal still. Um, let me see here. Are you, maybe you were involved with someone who came across as if they had their, like they had it all together, an emperor type of energy, but they were really sneaking behind your back. Okay. Let me see what's crowning. Okay. Ace of Wands. So... <clears throat> your thought process is this virgo you want a brand new like potential new passionate connection with someone you want something new but at the same time like you're struggling you're in conflict because your head's like yeah you want something new but like what's driving you your body like everything that's going on is like a lot of stress and anxiety about that because of something that happened before okay and i feel like you're still you're protecting yourself from any energy that comes in. Like it's it's almost too like anybody that you talk to or you're it's kind of like you're standing there and you're looking outward and and like giving out to the universe. You know, you want someone that's going to be reciprocal. You don't want someone that's going to come in weak. You don't want you want someone strong. You you don't want someone that's going to walk away for you from you, and that's kind of a challenge. Um, you feel like it's you're really overprotecting your heart, and you know being truthful, and it's coming from like you're kind of right in the middle, you know, like with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I want something new. That's my head. I want a brand new start. I want growth. I want prosperity. I want change. I want a connection with someone where something can grow. Your mind's in that place, but also you're hesitant. You have a lot of anxious energy. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards Virgo? Okay, that's strange. Okay, you have the oh, the four of cups reverse. So there's an, a, a love opening here. Love is opening up. Four of cups reverse. That's like um, making a decision, committing to something, no longer being indifferent. Let's see. Show me the rest of this energy. I feel like this is you. You might you might have somebody coming in here who is very stable and secure for some somebody coming in here who's very stable and secure and like permanent and wants growth and is quite flexible um i feel like this person is going to come in who is going to have the key to your heart but you're still kind of fearful right because you were involved with someone in the past or you had something very traumatic happen to you in your life with someone so you're it's like you want it but you are not you what's the word i want to say like you're triggered very easily or you or you're like gun shy because of something that happened let me see okay yeah there's healing the star so there's like a healing thing happening that's coming up for you something's being healed okay and like it's your heart your feelings your emotions this is opening up to love uh not being indifferent let me see is there some who is this is this a particular person or is this just you getting yourself in a better position to receive love throughout the rest of july 
Let me take a look first at you, your advice. What is Virgo's advice at this time? So you might be involved with somebody right now where you want something new, but you're just, you might be a little tense um, or a little anxious for fear that whoever you're talking to, if you if you don't say the right thing, or is this person going to leave you, or like... This is residual left over from something that happened in your past. And I feel like you want this new beginning and you're still seeing something through, but you're okay. So your advice here is the 10 of cups in the reverse. All right. Uh, don't rush into a committed relationship just yet. Okay. <clears throat> With anybody or somebody coming in. Um, you might still like, or for some of you pay attention or take a look. Your advice is to take a look at a heartbreak that you had or a divorce or destruction of a family unit. Um, there's something here you need to take a look at. Maybe it's to get some counseling or, um, to seek out some support groups or self-help books or workbooks and stuff like that. Something might have, maybe you had a divorce or a breakup. I feel like this still is something that's following you around like a dark shadow. So does that mean some shadow work? Some of you might already be doing that shadow work and it's still continuing. Let me see what else messages are here. Oh, yeah. See, four of wands in the reverse. This is family. Okay, something going on with the family situation. It might be time to take a look at your relationship when you were a child with parents or people that were in your life when you were young. Figure out where, you know, because I feel like this person, uh, like I said, I don't know if they cheated or if they just ran away from the relationship. If this was a father figure, um, maybe that something happened with your mother. Or if this was an ex-spouse that something happened. Or uh, just someone you were involved with in the past. That um, either there was betrayal. Or, you know, betrayal doesn't necessarily, it doesn't always mean infidelity. It could mean that this person just bailed or they left. Or they went somewhere else or they were sneaking around or did something. Hmm. All right, let's take a look and see. What's external to you, Virgo? Oh, the Page of Cups. Okay, the Hermit. Somebody's coming out of hiding here. You're going to get some type of communication, love message, sweet love message. For some, it could come from a child. Um, this feels like new love, okay? Somebody's reaching out to you. Um, this person is coming out of hiding. I feel like they, they've been in hiding or they've been closed off or isolated. Okay. Could it be that emperor or, um, you know, that person from the past? It could be. Let's see. Hmm. Six of Wands. Okay, yeah. This person, somebody's coming in and try to win you back here. So this feels like, or at least try to win your heart. That's why I said the heart with a key. That energy is definitely playing out with whoever this person is. There's definitely somebody coming in that's trying to win your heart. And I feel like your advice here is, again, the same. Not to jump in with this person. It could be a Virgo another Virgo for some. We do have Aries. There's Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, let me see. I just want to get another card for this person. Oh, <laughs> okay. King of Swords. Okay, this person's coming in very strategically. Coming in with truth, though. So you might have been involved with um, an air sign for some of you. Okay. Uh, coming in maybe to apologize as a form of trying to win you back or trying to get back with you. Trying to connect with you again. Let's see. It doesn't have to be an air sign, you guys, just so you know. They could have air in their chart somewhere. Let me see. What are your hopes? Hopes and wishes at this time. Because I do see you like getting into healing mode. 
Um, some of you might just be trying to stay single and not and just push other people away. That you might sense that they try to breadcrumb you. And I'm not talk I'm talking to the singles. If you are like completely single, you um, might not be ready, or you might just be. Oh, I just they just keep giving me like you go out on a date or you meet somebody, and you're immediately laying down the law, <laughs> laying down the rules for somebody here. Okay, um, now I don't know that somebody's necessarily running away from that, but I feel like some of you might be, listen, I'm trying to sort some stuff out and I'm not trying to get heavily involved at this time. I'm not trying to get married. I'm not trying to get into a committed relationship yet. Yeah, I feel like maybe you want to take it slow because you're a little bit triggered, but somebody's definitely coming in here um, to try to... Um, win your win your heart they're coming with a key and i do see like you will slowly as the month goes on open yourself a little bit uh, up a little bit more and put yourself more out into the spotlight right um bring yourself out more okay hmm your hopes and wishes you have the queen of wands in the reverse okay so this kind of feels to me like you're hoping you're not going to come off too strong with anybody or scare anybody away because that queen of, queen of wands in the reverse can be really bossy and have a bad attitude and also be very, um, I just want to say like narcissistic in a lot of ways. Queen of wands in the reverse, she's pushy. She's very pushy he or she so you might be trying to like say to yourself okay i do have my boundaries but i hope i don't come off as being too stuck up or too um nasty you know or too bossy or mean or anything like that so i feel like that's something you might be working on because you know if you have like if you're if you have like a really long laundry list of rules that you give somebody as soon as you meet them they're definitely going to run away <laughs> Maybe some of you did that in the past with someone and they bolted and you're kind of like, all right, maybe I shouldn't be, I sh maybe I shouldn't just first date over dinner, give them the rules and tell them this is how they have to act. Because, <laughs> you know, Virgo, you, you got your rules and you got your lists and things that you like, but some of you might actually be voicing that shit as soon as you meet somebody and that's not good. No, you got to chill, Virgo. You got to like chill. You might have a list at home and maybe you need to memorize that list, but you don't want to show up with, with your notebook and your list and have them check all this stuff and sign their name and then stamp a seal of approval and make sure sign have them sign a contract. No, I will not screw Virgo over. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, just go have dinner and some drinks and try to have fun. <laughs> you you had something must have hurt you in the past, and you're really protecting yourself, okay? But I see somebody coming in here, definitely. I don't know if it's new. I don't know if it's old, but they're coming in with the key to your heart, and I feel like this person's really going to... They're coming out of hiding, though, okay? Um, this person's been... Well, I will say they're coming in very single, right um the king of swords comes in as somebody who's strategic not very emotional at all really um very witty more mental not in a negative way but um more brain oriented good communicator truthful maybe a little overly truthful at times but direct all right let's see what the outcome situation here is going to be and and i will tell you like they have the page of cups so I feel like this person's coming in very sincere. Might even be, for some of you, if you knew this person, maybe it's an apology. Um, they might have a child. I feel like one of the last readings I did, the King of Swords was in that same position last time. Okay. Um, if this is somebody from your past, yeah, you might be tempted to just... So listen, when I talk about the bloody stumps, I'm not really saying that you need to give orders. You need to 
see if this person's coming in with bloody stumps, not tell them to come in with bloody stumps. Are you not having them? Like you, you can say to yourself, I, I want someone that's, you know, if there was a past relationship that was difficult or unhealthy, and you could say to yourself, well, if I'm going to accept this person back, we got to be in a healthier state, or they got, we got to go into counseling, or we're going to do something, right? Um, and you, you can say that later to them but not I don't think you should be wearing a sign across your chest that says these are my rules and this is how you can get to my heart <laughs> I don't I feel like that is just too I don't know if I, if I met somebody who did that I swear I would be like I ain't working for you, MFR. I don't care who you are. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how much money you have. If you're going to sit here and give me a checklist and rules when we first meet, forget. Forget it. You're out of here. This is a little bit different if you just meet somebody. And if you have someone that you're like, that's coming back in and wants to work on something, you can just be like, all right, I understand. And, and these are basically like how I feel about the situation and really what I need. You know, you can be open, honest, and truthful. And if there's disappointment, you can tell that person you're disappointed and you can tell them why. And you can tell them, and here's how it can be fixed, you know. <laughs> so there's definitely somebody coming in here with some love offer. There's a text or a call or some kind of a message. But this person is very far removed from their emotions, I see here. Okay. I don't know that that makes them a bad person. I just think that that hermit mode makes me feel like they're in isolation they might be messaging you in private so they're telling me private message or a pm so where do you get a private message i don't know maybe it'll be in your inbox and you don't see it or in your a text message that comes from an unknown number or something that you don't know what's in there all right outcome all right well five of pentacles oh virgo <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, you better watch yourself. The outcome situation here, Virgo, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, Virgo, you are not ready. I mean, I see you going through this healing thing, but you are not ready to take somebody back into your life or to have somebody new just yet. You have work. You have some work. Spirit is telling you. You got to look at your, your some stuff before you move forward. And I'm not saying that you're the reason why something's not going to work out. I think self-care is still the something that you have to keep doing before you go deep with anybody. Because stuff might come up. I feel like this person's coming in sincere, but I feel like you're going to cut somebody's head off. That's how I feel here. You you're just like pushing away because you're fear-based or you don't want to get left out in the cold you had some serious stuff go on so like you have very strong boundaries because you were maybe abandoned or you felt like something made you ill or a situation or a relationship you're still you're not in the upright you're working on it and you might just say to somebody listen thank you I'm working on my healing and I'm trying to open myself up to love again to receive whether it's them or somebody new but I feel like you know you're still working on self so you still have very strong boundaries and you're still work you're working on your boundaries right because the queen of pentacles in the reverse um like I said it doesn't matter if it's male or female energy the queen of pentacles in the reverse can be you know like Virgo on one of your shitty days <laughs> you know what I mean like you're irritable and you're um you know sharp tongued you're saying maybe you say things that you wish you don't that later you wish you hadn't said you know you're you're in still working on yourself because you're still kind of in that negative state you're in that dark place like your 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 dark side is kind of showing more and some of you just don't want somebody to come back into your life um or, or you do but you're not ready to receive them so it doesn't it's they're not saying to be careful what you say um they're really just saying to not commit to anything and work on the stuff that you need to work on especially if you feel like 
there's a possibility you could, you know, if you were in a relationship in the past with a narcissist and you haven't healed from that, you're going to get into another relationship with a narcissist. Like, because once, you know, when there's trauma, if the trauma is not healed, you will stay if you meet somebody like your body will pick up the familiarity of that past and then it's not like you attract them it's really that you you you're holding on to particular people who are familiar something from your past it's deep psychological but it's okay you know it's going to be all right i feel like because because the stars here there's healing and i feel like you're on your way but you just really, I feel like you got your, your guard up. And if you have your guard up or you're in no contact or you're just working on self and somebody reaches out, you know, I don't feel like you're ready just yet. And that's fine. All right. Let me see what the romance angels. Yep. Separation. Okay. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon because you're still doing your thing, Virgo. You're still working on self. And that's great. Your mindset is, you know, growth growth and healing but you're you know what's driving you is a lot of stress and anxiety still so your your mind's in the, your head's in the right place okay but your your you know, your thoughts you, you're trying to get your head and your heart in alignment and that's what it is because people always say well i don't know should i listen to my head or should i listen to my heart no you listen when your head and your heart are both speaking into speaking to each other and they're in agreement you know they level out they're, they they get into an alignment with each other and i don't feel like your head and your heart are in alignment just yet right now you shouldn't be listening to either you should just be letting them <laughs> your head and your heart are separated just let them work on what needs to be worked on and you get your healing in because they eventually will okay and then you can give a relationship a chance and work on some kind of partnership with someone or somebody new okay even th whether there's someone from the past or somebody new and you can tell somebody thank you but not right now <laughs> thank you but not right now anybody let's see what the chinese sign is okay year of the ox year of the horse double horse year of the monkey near the snake okay year of the goat oh double snake oh double goat okay the dragon a rabbit and one more year of the pig okay so that's either you or your person um i'm gonna um I'm going to skip the charms tonight. I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm, for some reason, I'm just not feeling it. They're just telling me these messages seem to be more important right now than getting some qualifiers. Let me see. Okay, messages of love, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like your message at this time is that's the place that you need to get. You need to get into acceptance. If you have somebody that, like, you still have some trauma from your past, whether it's family or an ex-lover or spouse or whatever, forgiveness is the only way to let go. Um, it doesn't mean you forget what happens. It means you just, you forgive that person. Um, and I know if you don't want to forgive, you know, it's that's a spiritual thing. It's not, it's not a religious thing. If you don't want to forgive somebody, then you, you're going to hold on to resentment. You have to let the forgiveness happen. Like, you have to forgive this person, okay, for anything that might have happened to you in the past in order to let go. Um, and I know you guys are always, some of you are always trying to, like, find another route around that because that's tough. But forgiveness requires extreme humility, and, well, maybe that's something that, you know, it doesn't mean you're weak. And it doesn't mean, like, you're allowing this person to come back in. It doesn't mean you're going to, you know, forgiveness doesn't mean we drop our guards. Forgiveness means I'm going to forgive you for indiscretions or, and I'm going to forgive myself for what ha might, might have happened in the past. I'm not going to carry that shit around with me anymore because it keeps me from my blessings going forward and that's why that's why we do it 
spiritual lesson. Damn. Okay, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I think they're talking about me, Virgo. <laughs> I think that's why you clicked on this video, because that's your greatest spiritual spiritual lesson right now is forgiveness. Okay, and children. All right, the children are important in a partnership. And I feel like this has something to do with your childhood. Okay, boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now, Virgo. This is what you need to do. Like, So you can keep protecting yourself. I just feel like if you have anything mean or nasty you want to say, you know, I'm not going to tell you to say it or not say it. Sometimes you just got to get stuff off your chest um, because nobody's perfect. But I think that there's better ways to channel your anger. And if you feel angry or you want to, like, flip out on somebody they say the best thing to do is um take out your notebook and write the angriest letter you possibly can to somebody that you're angry with not send it don't send it to them um that's for you and i promise you if you get it all out on paper you type it up and you just write everything that went wrong how you were hurt everything all your anger you will feel like such a weight lift off of your chest lift off your shoulders it's like an amazing feeling um and that will keep you fr that'll bring you peace okay virgo so i'm gonna leave your reading there i wish you a very happy sunday going into monday and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>